If you are looking for car insurance, check out My First. They are a multi-award winning broker trusted by thousands of young drivers, specialising in car insurance for young drivers, new drivers, learner drivers and student drivers. Use the code seen on the screen for a juicy discount. Follow the link in the description below to get started. In today's video, I will present the show me tell me questions for the UK driving test. There are 14 tell me questions and 7 show me questions. You'll be asked one tell me question and one show me question. All the questions are covered in this video, so keep watching until the end. Tell me questions. Explain how you would carry out a safety task. You'll be asked one tell me question before you drive. You only need to tell the examiner how to do the check. There is no need to operate the switches or exit the vehicle. Please tell me how you check that the brakes are working before starting a journey. So the brakes should not feel spongy or slack. Brakes should be tested as you set off and the vehicle should not pull to one side. Tell me where you'd find the information for the recommended tyre pressures for this car and how tyre pressure should be checked. You'll find the information for tyre pressures in the manufacturer's guide and measure the pressure using a reliable pressure gauge. I'll check and adjust pressures when the tyres are cold. Um, also check the spare tyre and I'd remember to refit the valve caps after adjusting the tyre pressure. Tell me how you would make sure your head restraint is correctly adjusted so it provides the best protection in the event of a crash. The head restraint should be adjusted so the rigid part of the head restraint is at least as high as the eye or the top of the ears and as close to the back of the head as is comfortable. Tell me how you would check the tyres to ensure that they have sufficient tread depth and that their general condition is safe to use on the road. Tyres should have no cuts or bulges. At least 1.6 millimetres of tread depth across the central three quarters of the breadth of the tyre and around the entire outer circumference of the tyre. Tell me how you check that the headlights and tail lights are working. First I'd operate the switch then walk round the vehicle. Tell me how you would know if there was a problem with your anti-lock braking system. A warning light should illuminate if there is a fault with the anti-lock braking system. Tell me how you would check the direction indicators are working. I'd operate the switch and then walk around the vehicle. Tell me how you would check the brake lights are working on this car. I would operate the brake pedal and then make use of reflections in windows or doors or ask someone else to help. Tell me how you would check the power assisted steering is working before starting a journey. If the steering becomes heavy, this could be a problem with your power assisted steering. When the engine is on, try turning the steering wheel and the wheel should move. Tell me how you would switch on the rear fog light and explain when you would use it. I would operate the switch, check that the warning light is on the dashboard and I would use the rear fog light when visibility is seriously reduced and less than 100 metres. Tell me how you switch your headlight from dip to main beam and explain how you'd know the main beam is on. I'd operate the switch and check that the main beam warning light is on. Open the bonnet and tell me how you would check that you have sufficient engine coolant. There are two steps to opening the bonnet. First you must release the latch which is under the driver's side dashboard. In some cars it's under the passenger side. There is a second release latch just under the centre of the bonnet. Pull the latch, lift the bonnet and use the prop to prop up the bonnet. 
In my car, the engine coolant and brake fluid are concealed neatly under this cover. There's also no engine oil because it's an electric car. You'll find three symbols on the engine coolant lid. The liquid inside is normally pink. You need to identify the maximum and minimum level markings on the coolant tank, which can be seen on the side of the tank. To top up the level, remove the lid only when the engine is cool and never hot and fill up to the maximum marker. Open the bonnet and tell me how you would check you have a safe level of hydraulic brake fluid. Identify the brake fluid tank, which is the circle inside the octagon symbol. And then check the level of the brake fluid against the maximum and minimum markers. Open the bonnet and tell me how you would check that you have sufficient engine oil. To check the engine oil, you will need to identify the dipstick, remove the dipstick, wipe it off with towel, dip the dipstick back into the tank, remove the dipstick and then check the levels against the maximum and minimum markers. The markers are often two dots or two small lines and in this clip I can see that my oil is almost at the maximum marker. Show me questions. Show how you would carry out a safety task. This task will be carried out during the driving. The location of the controls are different in every vehicle. So when it's safe to do so, can you show me how you'd wash and clean your front windscreen? Pull the stalk towards you to wash and clean the front window. So when it's safe to do so, can you show me how you would clean the rear windscreen? Rotate the end of the stalk to wash and clean the rear window. When it's safe to do so, can you show me how you'd switch on your dipped beam? Rotate the end of the left stalk to turn on the dipped beam. When it's safe to do so, can you show me how you'd set the rear demister? Push the button with the rectangle and the three squiggly arrows on it. Turn it off again when prompted by the examiner. When it's safe to do so, can you show me how you'd operate the horn? Push the center of the steering wheel. When it's safe to do so, can you show me how you would demiss the front windscreen? Push the button with the four-sided curved symbol with the three squiggly arrows on it. Turn off the front demister when prompted by the examiner. When it's safe to do so, can you show me how you would open and close your side window? So easy, put the window down and put it back up again. That concludes the show me tell me questions. When you're on your driving test, if you can't remember the answer to the tell me question, you'll receive a driving fault, but you won't fail the test. For the show me question, if you forget how to carry out the safety task, the examiner will ask you to pull up in a safe place, locate the switch, ask you to drive on, and then carry out the task. When carrying out the task for the show me question, choose a sensible time to do it. It's best not to do it when there's a hazard on the road, or when you could lose control of the vehicle. As you can see in the video, I've played the role of the examiner and of the pupil, and this is exactly how it will be on the driving test. I hope this video's been helpful, and I wish you all the best for your driving test. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please like, share, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the future videos.